Hello and welcome to the business. I'm joined once again with Rob Worrell from the Insurance Partnership. Um, I'd like to speak to him today about motor insurance. Rob, I've got a small business, but I think it might grow. Uh, would I individually insure my cars, do you think, or do you think I'm better off putting them on a fleet? I think traditionally, and it, it's, um, it's a rule of thumb, it's not an exact science, but you'd have five vehicles or more to go on a fleet. So uh, from a startup position or a small SME business, I think having what we call book and bonus, individually rated cars is the way forward. But there's quite a lot of administration involved, separate certificates, possibly separate renewal dates. So quite a lot for a businessman to worry about or a business person to worry about. Um, as, as they fall due for renewal and for taxation and cover notes and other such things. Having a fleet is certainly easier to administer, a harmonised basis of cover and harmonised excess. So I think it's worth reviewing all, but the broker's got to earn his crust. He's got to come with some advice and say, you know, this is best for you, or I've looked at this and actually an alternative is better for you. So uh, certainly five and above, I think a fleet's a good bet. Because if you're in a fleet... And let's say that you're in business, because this is another thing to think about, I suppose, and it doesn't go right and you end up losing the business. It, the fleet insurance that you've had, you can't, have you got no, no claims bonus to carry forward, have you? Or have you? You haven't to the spirit, but insurers via the right broker have a, a mechanism for dealing with that and they just get a letter from the company to effectively reinstate um, bonus across to the individual that lost it. So, you know, just... I'm not here to champion independent insurance brokers. I'm, I'm here just to give a bit of advice to, you know, with a pal, really. But this is the flexibility that you get with a broker, regardless of which broker it is, as opposed to all internet purchases and you, you, you know, insurers whose head office or call centres are on foreign shores. When you want some flexibility, you do really need to be having a, a, a strong professional local relationship. Because obviously then the... the Internet has changed a lot of the industry for you, hasn't it? So it turned it on its head, yeah, yeah, it has. But but it's ne never been something that, that personally I or my colleagues have feared, because it's just a method of distribution, and those that want to buy via the internet do so, and they do so without blessing. Those that want value, advice, and service, and somebody to uh, literally hold their hand when they need it most, use a broker. So I think what we're going to finish and cap off with there is, is that if you've got a business and you're up to five vehicles, it's generally, we're not saying specifically, yeah. but generally, you're better off on an individual insurance. Yeah. But then five and above, and I suppose if you're, if you're hiring a lot of vehicles as well, you're better off with a fleet insurance as well. As a general rule, and, I, and I've got to caveat that, that we would, you know, we would do every client the service of looking at their individual needs on merit, but as a general rule, yes, I'd say you were spot on there. Okay, that's brilliant. Thanks, Dr. Rob. See you again. My pleasure.